Today we are going to learn how to make one of the Hello My Name Is name tags, uh, the engraved wooden ones that are really popular for baby new babies these days. So we're going to come on over here to the line segment tool. We're going to switch it to a rectangle tool. You can kind of eyeball the dimensions here. There's no one that is better than another necessarily, just whatever looks good to you. We have roughly five by three, and I like that. Uh, we're going to click the select tool, come on up to the circle in the corner, and just round those corners out a little bit. Now you'll notice right now we have a white fill and a black stroke. Okay, uh, We don't want to stroke at all, so we're going to go click here to get rid of the stroke. Uh, and we're actually just going to change the fill to red. That's what I tend to use for my engraves. You can use whatever makes you happy. Um, and we're going to just zoom in so that we can see our project a little bit more clearly. Okay, so that looks good. We're actually, before we go any further, we're going to copy paste this. So on a Mac, it's Command C and then Command V, or you can just go up to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, uh, and we'll drag it over to the side. We're not going to worry about it just yet. Um, we just want something that's exactly the same size and shape as um, this before we move further. Okay, now we're going to go back to our rectangle tool. This time we're going to make a rectangle with sharp corners and leave it with sharp corners. This is the spot where the name is going to go. And so you can kind of, again, eyeball that, see what you think. We're going to change the fill color to white, not um, because we're going to leave it that way, but just for visuals right now so we can judge the shape. Come on up to the select tool. Uh, you're going to click and drag to select both of those shapes. Leave out the other one off to the side. Object align and horizontal align center. Now I actually somehow had that perfectly centered, but if not, that'll take care of it for you. And then I'm going to move it down a little bit because I think it'll look better that way. Okay, so we have uh, two fills here. If you were to save it as an SVG just like this, upload it into the Glowforge user interface, it'll just uh, engrave the entire thing and we don't want that. So what we'll do to fix that is click and drag, again we're using our selection tool, click and drag so that we're selecting both of those. Come on up to this Pathfinder panel here okay, and we're going to use minus front uh, but we're going to do the option click. So option click and hit expand and now we have just one shape with blankness in the middle of this. So if we put something else behind there, you'd be able to see it. All right, so we have that, that looks good. Now we're gonna work on our text. So for the hello, and, and you've got other options here, we're just gonna use the type tool, okay? For hello, I am actually going to type it out, change my font to, we're gonna use hardy morning. It's kind of an old school cursive font and I like that. Uh, again, you have a couple ways to change your font size. You can just use the arrow or the selection tool. If you're using the selection tool, make sure that you're shift clicking so that it stays proportional and doesn't stretch. I see too many stretched fonts in designs and it makes me want to die. All right, so now we have hello. We're going to just put it in place for now. Always, always, always make sure that you're remembering to right click, create outlines. And then since this is a script font, we want to get rid of these extra little lines here. So you go on up to the Pathfinder and click Unite. You do not option click this time, you just click, click. And there you go, now we have Hello. And we are going to use a different font for My Name Is. So My Name Is uh, dot dot dot. We're gonna change it to, we're gonna use Heinberg here. I really like this font. Um, it's kind of a modern hipstery sort of font, but a good just block font okay and I'm gonna put it right over here I think that I want to make hello a little smaller you can just eyeball this part you want it to look nice obviously um, I like for my fonts to kind of line up with the outside of the rectangle you don't need to worry too much about them lining up with each other just yet we'll do that in a second so we're going to remember to right click create outlines and now you're good okay so, hello, my name is, I'm actually gonna readjust hello. Again, we're shift clicking to preserve the proportions. And I think that that looks good. And now what I'm gonna do to make sure that my hello and my name is are sitting on that same line and they're not off a little bit is 
object align. So first of all, we shift clicked to make sure that we were selecting both. Then object align, vertical align bottom. And see it just bumped hello up just that little bit to make sure that it was all good. We're actually at this point going to click and then select and click this one too. Make sure that they're still um, together. We're going to Pathfinder unite these as well. Um, and the reason that we're gonna do that is that we want it to be one layer so that we can subtract it from that background, okay? So we want the background to engrave, we don't want the letters to engrave. Remember, if we were to just upload it into the Glowforge user, uh, user interface like it is, it wouldn't show up. So now that we have united those, we have two layers right here. We're going to click and drag so that both layers are selected. We're gonna come up here to Pathfinder minus front, option, click. All right, and now what we have is hello, my name is. The hello, my name is is not going to engrave. This big box down here is not going to engrave, but all of the red spots will. Okay, now we need to add the name. So I'm going to use Heimberg again and just do it bigger. So we're gonna use the name Charlie, just because it's the first one I thought of. Uh, we're going to click it, right click it, select, I'm sorry, right click it, create outlines, and then we're gonna make it a lot bigger. Okay, so again, shift, resize, so that it preserves the proportions. We've got Charlie right in here. Um, and again, you can kind of eyeball the placement in terms of the vertical, so in terms of how far up or down it is. Uh, we, Since that uh, white rectangle in the back is no longer its own shape, we can't use that to align, but that's okay. We can align it horizontally, and we're definitely going to do that real quick. So object, align, horizontal align center, um, and that's good to go. All right, so we have our outlines created. Uh, again, I always use red for engraves, so I'm just going to change it to the same red as the rest of it. Now, you're almost done. Uh, we have one more step to do. We want to come over to the shape we've been ignoring this whole time. Uh, you want to toggle it, so toggle the uh, fill and stroke. And so you want to add a stroke around the edge. And again, I always make my cut lines black uh, just to keep track of them. And then before we align all of this, we want to come over here and sort of just unite all of that, okay? So unite it, make it all the same thing, expand. Beautiful, it should all be the same shape now. It's not though, so. Um, click and drag over it, go to object, group, and now we're working with the same, that's all one shape now. Okay, cool. So now we will click and drag over both of those. Uh, they don't have to be anywhere near each other on your canvas, um, because again, we're gonna object, align, horizontal align center, object, align, vertical align center and now it will engrave all of the red part leave the white part perfectly fine and cut around the edge with the black cut line i'm gonna uh just zoom in a little bit more so we can just take a look and make sure that our black is exactly on the red if not there might be a gap with your uh engrave but it actually looks like we are in good shape all right so at this point very important step you want to file save as and then make sure that you're saving it as an SVG. All right, that's what the Glowforge likes best. And we'll just say Charlie oops, name tag and you are good to go. And hit okay.